right, Aquarius, it's me, Stormy, and here's your horoscope for February 2018. So before I jump in, Aquarius, I want to say thank you to my friends over at Hair Entourage for this cute little piece I'm getting to wear for you guys while I'm transitioning my natural hair. So if you are into hair or any of that kind of stuff and you want to check out some of their beautiful work, I put all of the details in the description box down below, so head over and check them out. All right, Aquarius, hey, oh my goodness. I love this month for you, not only because we're having a, a Saturn, no Saturn return, I wanna say a Saturn return, a solar return, we're not doing any of that. We're gonna just have a solar eclipse happening in your sign, but why I'm getting pumped about this is because we also just had a lunar eclipse that happened in Leo, so in your opposite sign. So let's talk about that first, because in February, we have no full moon, right? We had this blue moon situation happen with, um, the lunar eclipse being the third moon happening in January. So you, we have no big culmination that's gonna be happening in February. So we really need to look at how this relationship eclipse energy also affected you. So one of the things that I think really happened is that something has been, there has been a split or a shift in an existing personal relationship that you've been in, whether it be romantic, business, whatever it is, a partnership situation, which can include friendships, has certainly been in question. Right now, how has it been in question? For some of you, maybe you made a very big commitment, right? Like maybe you took things to the next level. But for some of you, I feel like if, if you felt like this relationship wasn't nurturing your soul or your finances or your vision, you shifted into a position to let that go, either begin letting that go or you actually did it. But whatever happened, I think that, and I hope that for you, you can look back and say, I, I learned from this experience, I learned from this relationship, whatever that looks like. Because as we get to this solar eclipse happening this month in your sign, this is your thing where you have let some relationship weight go, even if it's been in a positive way, right? Even if you took that commitment to the next level, there's this kind of anxious place in the middle where you're trying to figure out which direction you're gonna go, right? So whatever it is, I think that that lunar eclipse helped to bring some of the anxiety down whichever direction it was going and put you in a position where now with this solar eclipse, Aquarius, you're getting to have a coming out party. Not to mention it is your birthday time, so happy birthday. You've just got a full solar restart happening right now. Love that energy. So. What else is going on this month is that we have got grace on your table. We've got Venus and Mercury changing signs and that Venus energy moving into your earned income sector is bringing grace, bringing abundance, bringing a natural magnetism towards finances, right? Towards value, towards self-esteem. And for you, Aquarius, oh my goodness, over the last year, you have been taking some of these big, beautiful dreams, wishes, and ideas that you've had and being prepared to put them into actual practice. Like you grabbed one of those great ideas and now you might be ready to run with it. How beautiful is this? All the way until March the 6th, you've got Venus here in Pisces giving you this magnetism, giving you almost this like favor and spiritual guardianship over your financial situation. So one of the things I also think of is that if you do do something in the healing arts or something in the psychic arts or intuitive arts, this may be a great time for you to really, really be looking at how you can be doing it and how it's impacting your money as well. So love this energy. It's very magnetic. Venus coming home to the second house where she's already comfortable is very magnetic. So you could definitely be watching some income come your way this month. And it doesn't mean though that it's just gonna fall into your lap. You are actually gonna have to do something about it, right? So you're gonna have to certainly take some action. Now, you've got Mars and Sagittarius all month long. So this is rocking up your 11th house. So I'm telling you, if you've gotta make new connections, new tribe, new networking events, get you and yourself out there all month long, and then allow the solar eclipse energy to propel you out there, propel, propel you into the world anew so that people can receive you differently, okay? Now, I will tell you as we get to the second half of the month, I don't think it is the strongest energy to be making really big life-changing decisions, right? I feel like there's a contract that comes up, you might not have the strongest energy at the end of the month to 
make sure you know all the fine print that's going on. So I'll tell you all about that. Right now, let's break this month down by date. At the beginning of the month here, February 10th, we've got Venus making this move over here into Pisces, into your second house, really bringing that abundance, really bringing grace and magnetism into this area of your life so you can attract some of that money into you, attract some of that self-esteem, attract the value that you want in your life, right? This could be, I mean, you could go make some kind of indulgent purchase, but I don't don't really feel like that's the biggest tie to this energy now as we get to the 15th of the month we've got this solar eclipse happening and it's happening in your sign also making a connection with uranus your ruling planet so there is just a lot of potent potential energy for you to be working with to fulfill your needs to fulfill your needs to connect to fulfill your needs to get out there and be perceived and move a certain way also connections to your your physical body if you've been wanting to change the way that you actually look or dress or present your yourself you have just complete go ahead to move out into the world differently for some of you who do own businesses right this is a great time for you at the solar eclipse and thereafter to be prepared to launch out a product that you do create or interact with maybe a little bit differently now, as we get to the 17th of the month, we see Mercury moving into Pisces. So where this actually softens and provides forgiveness and a little bit of gentle and very creative thinking and words and attitudes to our communication. Mercury is in fall in the sign of Pisces. He's not comfortable here. Mercury wants to be quick, clean, decisive, get those details. And Pisces energy is very vague and very blurry. So it's very hard to see all of the details when Mercury's in Pisces. So what do you do? You lean into the creativity part of it. You don't lean into the actual, okay, need to make big decisions here. As well on the 17th, we see Mars and a square to Neptune here. So that means the action may need to be a little bit more creative, right? How you're pushing forward may need to not be so rational, not be, um, you may not be clear you may actually be a little bit confused on some action that you're taking or you could also be meeting you're trying to put out some creativity here and you're meeting a stumbling block you could be walking or running into an issue okay it's easy to navigate around that head towards the creative when we get to the 18th the sun moves over here into pisces but when we get to the 25th we see mercury in an alignment with neptune again this is just not very strong it's very good for the creative it's very good for you know you have to conceptualize things before you can really put them out there so you put your innovative energy with something very creative right or even maybe even something very psychic or something in that intuitive space and then you can create something different but really there's a lot of confusion and frustration i think still happening here now when we get to the 28th of the month we see mercury in a square to mars so your thinking and your action may not be in sync yet so really if you can hold off of making these huge life changing decisions i think it's best if you can wait a week or two but ultimately this energy is good for also showing you a more psychic creative side of things which is a wonderful beautiful way for you to also move through this solar eclipse energy and start being the new version of yourself and actually presenting it to us over the next six months. So I think it's going to be a beautiful month, Aquarius. I look forward to what you get into. Keep me posted in the comment section down below. I look forward to seeing you in the February version of um, $3 Thursday, where we will be talking about transits as they relate to the natal chart. So if you hear me say that Mercury is going to be in Pisces in your second house and you're like, no, it's not. My Mercury is not in Pisces. You need to come learn about transits. Come on. Let's learn together. I'm really excited about that. Also, you guys, I've got my brand new format for my Astrology 101 Basics class. It's reformatted. I'm totally excited to be launching it in March. And because I'm launching this to you as something brand new, of course, I discount it for you. So you can take for the March session, you can take my entire five-week course live with me for $50. So make sure you sign up. Spaces will fill quickly, especially at that rate. But I look forward to learning and to studying and to moving forward through astrology and the understanding and use of it with you. So click in the description box down below for everything or come visit me at stormygrace.com. I love you guys. Like this video, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in March.